Welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing about engineered immune cells for cancer therapy. In part A, we discussed uh, about the basics of uh, immune therapy and the tumor microenvironment, and we also discussed about the two main immunotherapeutic approaches. So, here let us uh, look into the major categories of immunotherapy. One of the important category is the checkpoint blockade therapy, where we block the negative regulation of immune checkpoint on immune response to anti tumor. Another approach is oncolytic immunotherapy, where infecting tumor cells and inducing durable immune responses to destroy cancer is adopted. Some people uh, also deploy cytokines, uh, they help modulate or regulate immune system activity to fight against cancer. Another approach is adoptive cell immunotherapy. Uh, it uh, generates a powerful immune mediated anti tumor effect through adoptive immune cells. And uh, one of the very promising ones are the cancer vaccines, uh, which act by inducing specific immune response to anti tumors. Brief overview of immunotherapy methods. Let us discuss these methods uh, in detail. Uh, immune checkpoint uh, therapy. Immune checkpoints are molecules of co inhibitory signaling pathways that act to maintain immune tolerance, which avoid indiscriminate immune attacks. However, they are often utilized by cancer cells to evade immune surveillance. Immune checkpoints inhibitors are designed to reinstate anti tumor immune responses by interrupting co inhibitory signaling pathways and to promote immune mediated elimination of malignant cells. The most widely used targets for ICIs are cytotoxic T lymphocyte associated molecule 4, program cell death receptor and program cell death ligand 1. CTLA4 is a co-inhibitory molecule expressed on T cells and functions to negatively regulate T cell activation. PD-1 was discovered to be expressed on the surface of T cells and was originally thought to be involved in program cell death, however later it was proven to act as a negative regulator of immune responses. The ligand PDL1 is expressed in normal tissues and regulates immune tolerance by suppressing TCR mediated lymphocyte proliferation and cytokine secretion when binding with PD1. Abnormally expressed PD1, PDL1 uh, in tumor cells helps to escape immune uh, surveillance. Uh, CTLA4 and PD1 exert their biological effect at distinct body sites and times during the T cell lifespan. Therefore, they complement each other functionally and ensure that T cell responses preserve self tolerance while effectively protecting the body from pathogens and neoplasia. Ipilimumab, a CTLA4 monoclonal antibody, is the first ICI approved cancer treatment due to its ability to enhance T cell activation and induce durable responses. Antibodies targeting PD-1 or PD-L1 have also been approved for the treatment of multiple cancers. Studies on CTLA-4 by James and uh, PD-1 by Honjo led them to own the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. The brief anti-tumor mechanism of uh, CTLA-4 and uh, PD-1 one or PDL1 uh, blocking uh, antibodies. In figure A, you can see the tumor microenvironment, uh, the T cell surface is highly inhibited by inhib uh, inhibitory uh, immunoregulatory receptors such as uh, CTLA4 uh, and PD1 or uh, PDL1, uh, which prevents the immune activation of T cells and the killing of uh, tumors. In figure B, you can see the use of PD-1, oblique uh, PDL1 or uh, CTLA4 uh, blocking antibodies uh, can eliminate the immunosuppressive effect of PD-1, uh, PDL1 or CTLA4, thereby activating the immune response of T cells to kill uh, the tumors. Let us now discuss about the uh, cytokine therapies. Cytokines are released by immune and non-immune cells in response to cellular stresses such as infection inflammation and tumorogenesis. Secreted cytokines 
enable the rapid propagation of immune signaling in a complex yet efficient manner to generate potent and coordinated immune responses against the target antigens. Uh, cytokine interleukin 2 expand T cells in vitro and in vivo and does exerts immunostimulatory properties as a typical instance of cytokine therapies. The administration of large doses of IL-2 in clinical applications could lead to cancer regressions in patients with metastatic cancer. Cytokine uh, interferon alpha, IFN uh, alpha also serve as a classic therapeutic cytokine in cancer uh, treatment. Interferons comprise a large family of cytokines among which IFN alpha, a pleiotropic cytokine of type 1 IFN is a critical determinant of the efficacy of anti-tumor uh, immunity. IFN alpha plays uh, multifaceted roles in uh, tumor control including directly eradicating tumor cells through inducing senescence and apoptosis and boosting effective anti-tumor immune responses through the stimulation of DC maturation and the enhancement of T cell cytotoxicity. IFN alpha not only activates immune cells directly but also effectively activates the systemic immune responses by reversing the immunosuppression of effector mesenchymal stromal cells. Clinical studies have proven the therapeutic role of IFN alpha at high doses in chronic myeloid leukemia and melanoma. Despite clinical benefits, poor tolerability and severe toxicity hamper further applications of these cytokines as monotherapies, but cytokines are still being investigated in combination with other immunotherapies such as adoptive cell transfer therapy. Let us now discuss about uh, oncolytic uh, virus therapies. So in oncolytic immunotherapy, the therapy is based on oncolytic uh, viruses which can lead to lysis of the tumor cells and the activation of the innate and adaptive immune response by specifically replicating in cancer cells without damaging uh, normal cells. So we can see here uh, the oncolytic viruses as represented by these figures. These uh, fights malignancies without dependence on specific antigen uh, expression which makes it superior to other immunotherapy uh, process. So these are the oncolytic viruses. So they enter the uh, immune cells. Uh, here you can see virus specific reception mediated cell targeting uh, via cell surface antigens example HAR2 uh, may be uh, facilitated. And then in the second stage there is a uh, virus replication and the third stage there is a uh, cell lysis. So in the second stage there is increase in viral replication in tumor cells under uh, going rapid uh, cell division example mutations in tumor deliver uh, driver genes and uh, we, here uh, we exploit the deficiencies in immune uh, pathways and the fourth stage uh, there is enhanced apoptosis and or cytotoxicity of the tumor cells. In 2015 a genetically engineered oncolytic herpes simplex virus uh, talimogen uh, lahar uh, parabhac tvac was approved for the treatment of advanced melanoma by the United States FDA. Uh, oncolytic viruses stimulate the immune system to recognize cancer cells and activate anti-tumor immunity mainly by inducing immunogenic cell death uh, on them. However, uh, OVs are identified by the immune system as causative agents and the immune system generates the antiviral response which could diminish the efficiency efficacy of the anti-tumor by clearing the virus uh, prematurely. Cancer vaccines. Cancer vaccine takes advantage of tumor associated antigens or TAAs or tumor specific antigens TSAs to stimulate the immune system especially a robust and long lasting immune response of CD8 plus T cells to inhibit the growth metastasis and recurrence of tumor cells. According to the clinical use of cancer vaccines they are divided into two categories uh, preventive vaccines and therapeutic cancer vaccines. The preventive ca cancer vaccine aims to prevent tumor occurrence by inducing immune response while the therapeutic cancer vaccines are designed to eradicate tumor cells by inducing or enhancing the tumor specific uh, immune reactions. The efficacy of the cancer vaccine is primarily dependent on uh, immunogenicity, host immunosuppression, 
preferential expression of tumor antigens and the delivery of cancer vaccine. The tumor specific, uh, specific antigens also known as new antigens are ideal cancer vaccine targets due to the highly immunogenic lower risk of self tolerance, less common tumor antigen deletions and lower risk of anti uh, autoimmune reactions. So far in phase 3 randomized trials there is no other therapeutic cancer vaccine uh, uh, yet uh, showing noteworthy clinical efficacy except uh, Cypilucel uh, T as reported by Young in uh, 2022. Let us discuss about uh, adoptive uh, cell therapy. Advancements in synthetic biology and novel gene therapy techniques have given rise to advanced cancer immunotherapy methods called uh, adoptive uh, cell therapy or ACT. ACT therapies utilize either the patient's own uh, or a donor's uh, immune cells. The first is known as autologous transfer, second is known as the allogenic transfer, uh, particularly T cells which are isolated or genetically engineered ex vivo expanded and reinfused back into patients uh, to eliminate cancer cells and have shown sustained clinical uh, efficacy. Immune subtypes delivered by ACT can include dendritic cell, natural killer cells and T lymphocyte cell based immunotherapies each of which is at various stages of preclinical and clinical development as reported by Kumar uh, in 2021. Adoptive cell therapy is followed through three major methods including uh, one using tumor infiltrating uh, lymphocytes, uh, T cell receptors, modified T cells, uh, engineering chimeric antigen receptor cells or uh, CART-T. Here in this diagram we can see the various adoptive T cell uh, therapy uh, strategies. Uh, adoptive T cell therapy for treating cancer patients requires ex vivo uh, expansion uh, of autologous T cells for infusion back into the um, patients. Adoptive T cell transfer of a uh, teal uh, left side of this uh, figure uh, you can see uh, occurs by first resecting uh, tumor lesions from a patient and then isolating uh, tumor reactive T cells uh, from the uh, sample. The tumor reactive T cells are then expanded uh, ex vivo and then uh, infused back uh, into the uh, patient. So, it makes a uh, full uh, circle uh, journey as you can see in this diagram. Uh, adoptive cell transfer or genetically engineered uh, T cells on the right side occurs by first isolating the uh, peripheral blood lymphocytes derived T cells from uh, patient's blood then genetically modifying them to express a specific TCR or CAR. The TCR or CAR engineered T cells are then expanded ex vivo and infused uh, back into the, the patient. So, here also you can see the uh, full journey uh, from the patient uh, back to the patient. The tumor infiltrating lymphocyte uh, therapy. In the late 1980s, uh, National Cancer Institute carried out a pioneer study where tumor infiltrating lymphocytes was used in the treatment of metastatic melanoma. Rosenberg and colleagues isolated teals from biopsy of cancer patient which were expanded under the action of uh, interleukin 2 and reinfused back into the patient with large dose of IL-2. The objective response rate was uh, 34 percent. However, the median duration of response was only 4 months and few patients experienced a uh, complete uh, response. Later studies incorporated uh, lymphodepletion, uh, elimination of Bolli's uh, T cells before ATC uh, therapy uh, where uh, lymphodepletion preparative regimen consisting of 60 milligram per kg of uh, cyclophosphamide for 2 days and 25 mg uh, of uh, uh, fludarabin administered for 5 days prior to ACT increased both the rate and the duration of clinical response. In mouse models and in humans, uh, lymphodepletion prior to cell transfer showed meaningful improvement in the effectiveness of ACTs through enhanced persistence of transport cells. Studies on mouse suggest that lymphodepletion enhances the efficacy of TILs through elimination of immunosuppressive cells such as myeloid derived uh, suppressor cells and FOXP3 plus uh, regulatory uh, T cells. 
This is the general scheme for the expansion of naturally occurring tools, steels for uh, use in uh, AC, ACTs. So, you can see the tumors are uh, surgically excised uh, under anesthesia, cut into small pieces or digest enzymatically to obtain single uh, sense uh, cell uh, suspensions. Uh, tumor uh, fragments are grown individually uh, in uh, high dose of uh, IL-2 uh, or this is known as the pre-repeat expansion uh, phase. Under the influence of uh, IL-2, uh, cytotoxic lymphocytes overgrow and kill, kill tumor cells within uh, 2 to uh, 3 weeks. Cytotoxicity of pure lymphocyte cultures are tested by co-culturing IL-2 primed lymphocytes and uh, tumor cells. Individual cultures with high uh, toxicity against target tumors can be rapidly expanded in the presence of irradiated feeder lymphocytes uh, an autoantibody targeting the ep epsilon subunit within the human CD3 and IL-2. Using this approach, Rosenberg and colleagues harvested approximately uh, 1011 lymphocytes in approximately 5 to 6 weeks for infusion into patients. Lymphodepletion preparative regimen administered for 5 days demonstrated remarkable outcome in effectiveness of the SCDs. Patients were infused with cells and interleukin 2 at 720,000 uh, IU per kg or to tolerance after uh, lymph lympho uh, depletion. What are the limitations of TILS? Using the autologous inactive yet potential T cells was the uh, initial idea. However, getting adequate and appropriate uh, healthy tumor specific T cells is not always uh, possible. In many cancer types, therapy effector T cells with anti tumor activity are not present, thus, cannot elicit therapeutic responses of TIL based ATC. Uh, preparation of efficient T cells by this uh, method is time consuming and together with intolerability against evolving sun changes in tumor makes it uh, its applications limited mostly to melanoma. Despite TIL therapy being an effective in uh, even melanoma, however, it is very limited because many tumor lesions are not easily accessible uh, for TIL uh, harvest. To overcome these problems, advanced techniques of utilizing engineered lymphocytes in ATC was uh, developed uh, subsequently. Uh, TILs directly recognize antigens uh, presented on the surface of tumor cells in the form of major histocompatibility complex peptide complexes because tumor associated antigen is also expressed on self tissue immune tolerance occurs when using TILs exposed to uh, PMSCs derived from TAAs resulting in unresponsive uh, T cells. Let us now discuss about the uh, TCR modified uh, T cells. Problems associated with TILs and immunosuppressive environment of tumor microenvironment are attempted to be overcome by development of TCR engineered uh, lymphocytes. Treatment with engineered tumor antigen specific T cells has demonstrated significant clinical successes in patients with metastatic melanoma, colorectal carcinoma, synovial sarcoma and multiple myeloma. TCRs are able to assess the full proteome of the cell, however, they require antigen processing and presentation of peptide targets via the MSC system for functioning. In TCR T cells therapy, ex vivo expansion of anti tumor T lymphocytes carried out after they have been genetically modified by the ex vivo insertion of genes, encoding carefully selected TCRs of known specificity and affinity. The autologous peripheral blood lymphocytes are genetically engineered to express a novel TCR that recognizes specific tumor antigens. T cell receptor engineered effector cells use a naturally occurring TCR to develop T cell based adoptive T cell therapy. This approach has been selected for its ability to recognize tumor specific epitopes presented by the major histocompatibility complex molecules on the tumor cell surface. The T cell based adoptive T cell therapy has a potentially broader applicability as there are far more tumor specific peptide sequences within a cell and presented in a MSC than number of tumor specific cell surface antigens. Uh, these intracellular cancer targets are only accessible by TCR based approaches and not by other immunotherapy techniques such as CAR based approaches. TCR T cells have also targeted new antigens generated by somatic mutations in tumor DNA which are more tumor specific but also less shared by the cancer patients. ACT can in principle utilize a variety of effector cells but 
it is most commonly based on T cells or natural killer cells derived from the patient and genetically uh, modified. TCR, T cell uh, structure. This is an antigen uh, uh, presenting cell and here we see a uh, T cell and we see different uh, molecules like CD3 epsilon, CD3 delta, gamma and so on. And we see TCR alpha, uh, TCR beta and uh, HLA uh, class 1 and uh, also the uh, peptide uh, antigen. The TCR is a molecule uh, on the uh, surface of T cells that specifically recognizes and mediates immune responses and consisting of two highly variable heterogeneous peptide chains linked by disulfide bones. The disulfide bones are present between the conserved cysteine residues located within the constant region of each chain. In the majority of mature T cells, the TCA consists of alpha and the uh, beta chains. Although there is a smaller population of T cells in which the TCA consists of gamma and uh, delta chains uh, as well. Antigen recognition by the alpha beta TCR is central to the function and uh, of the adaptive immune system. Alpha beta TCR bind to the peptide major histocompatibility complex on the surface of antigen uh, presenting cells. The interaction between an alpha beta TCR and a PMSC is highly specific as T cells can distinguish between rare foreign PMACs and abundant self PMSC molecules. Neither TCSN has intrinsic signaling capacity and activation requires interaction between the TCA and other accessory signaling molecules. A non-covalent oligomeric complex comprised of TCR and CD3 signaling molecules uh, as shown here uh, initiates signaling activities on binding a cognate peptide MSC complex on a target cell and enables uh, antigen specific uh, tumor cell lysis. Alpha beta TCRs activate the TCR signaling pathway by binding to the major histocompatibility complex on tumor cells or antigen presenting cells which then activates a series of intracellular proteins including uh, CD3 zeta, 70 uh, KD, zeta associated protein, JEP70 and nuclear factor of activated T cells 2 uh, thereby mediating T cell immune function. Selection of an appropriate antigen for the development of safe and effective TCA based adoptive therapy. The selection of the antigen and the cognate TCR are of vital importance. Candidate target antigens that are used for TCA engineered T cell treatment require three features. Uh, if they are to be utilized, they must be selectively expressed in tumors and not in normal tissues. They are related to oncogenes, they are able to evoke a T cell uh, response. Neo antigens demonstrate many of the features uh, considered ideal. However, the wide diversity of somatic mutational profiles combined with high HLA1 polymorphism makes vast majority of tumor neo antigens personalized and not shared among cancer patients. Tumor associated antigens are peptides that originate from endogenous wild type proteins whose expression is elevated in tumors but limited in magnitude or in special expression in uh, healthy tissues. TCR T cells are constructed by uh, transferring a TCR gene sequence that specifically recognizes tumor antigens into T cells through genetic engineering so that the T cells have the ability to specifically kill tumor cells. TCR T cells can recognize not only specific antigens on the surface of tumor cells but also intracellular antigens which allows TCR T cells to recognize a wider spectrum of target antigens. TCR T cells are predominantly engineered to express one transgenic TCR alpha chain and one transgenic TCR beta chain in addition to or in place of their endogenous chains. The cloning of TCRs from anti, uh, tumor and infiltrating lymphocytes can redirect bulk T cells to have a tumor specificity. On binding of transgenic TCR to a therapeutically relevant peptide MSC of interest for example, the 9-mer peptide derived from amino acids 157 to 165 of the highly immunogenic cancer testis antigen NYESO1 uh, which is uh, presented by uh, HLA-A natural TCR signaling activates T cell function and expansion. 
For the development of safe and effective TCR based adoptive therapy, the selection of the antigen and the cognate TCR are of vital importance. Target antigens should be selectively expressed in tumors and not or only at very low levels expressed in normal tissues. Consequently, a specific and selective TCR with sufficient target affinity and minimal cross reactivity against other peptides is needed. In addition, an effective and robust T cell transduction and expansion process must be developed that allows the reliable delivery of a potent and safe immunotherapy product to the patient. The transduction efficiency is of paramount importance as there is a significant patient to patient variation in the number of T cells collected for manufacture of the ACT uh, product. Identification of TAA uh, neo antigens. Both tumor cells and tumor infiltrating lymphocytes are uh, isolated uh, from the uh, patient. The isolated tumor cells are subsequently subjected to uh, gene sequencing, uh, example whole genome sequencing, uh, mass spectrophotometer uh, analysis uh, and or uh, bioinformatic analysis promoting the identification of uh, tumor uh, specific TAA uh, neo antigens. To validate the immunogenicity of the identified TAA neo antigens, APCs expressing the identified TAA neo antigens are co cultured with the TILs isolated from this uh, patient. The specific population of TILs bearing TAA neo antigen specific tissues which exhibit cell proliferation or cytokine secretion in response to the stimulation of APCs expressing tumor specific neo antigens can be isolated and the neo antigen specific tissues can then be cloned successfully. Subsequently, the cloned TAA neo antigen specific tissues are transduced into the patient derived T cells generating genetically modified neo antigen specific T cells via ex vivo activation and expansion. The modified T cells bearing the neo antigen specific TCRs can be adoptively transferred to the patient and target tumor cells bearing tumor specific TA neo antigens with high specificity for elimination. In addition, the intratumor heterogeneity uh, can be dissected by the single cell sequencing or other technologies which can facilitate the identification of clonal and neo antigens and thus improve T cell uh, immunoreactivity. Editing methods for genetically engineered uh, T lymphocytes. Tumor antigen specific TCR uh, repertories identified by next generation sequencing can be used to genetically engineer T lymphocytes for the TCRT therapy. Most TCR based gene therapy approaches rely on the ex vivo transduction of T cells with viral vectors such as the retroviral vectors derived from gamma retroviruses, uh, lentiviral vectors, adeno associated virus. Several non-viral gene editing methods have been developed such as mRNA electroporation to minimize the risk of viral element persistence. Recently CRISPR-Cas9 genome targeting system has also been used for rapid and efficient insertion of large DNA sequences at predetermined sites in the genomes of primary human T cells while preserving cell viability and function. Tumor cells uh, presenting uh, new antigen derived peptides can be recognized and killed by genetically modified T cells bearing the response responsible new antigen specific uh, TCS as shown in this uh, figure. So, this is the new antigen uh, specific uh, TCR in this cell. Genome editing and gene transfer technologies and other alternative measures can be utilized to modify the components of other alternative pathways for immune enhancement ultimately providing an optimized approach to improve TCR T cell based uh, therapies. So, uh, here uh, there are the uh, receptors uh, in this uh, TCR uh, T cell and uh, genome editing uh, through any of these uh, tools uh, Jellyfin, Talon and CRISPR can be uh, done and here uh, the new antigen specific uh, TCR expression and uh, finally, uh, the new antigen uh, presentation is uh, shown in this uh, particular uh, figure. 
and this uh, helps in the killing of the uh, tumor cells. This is a symmetric view of TCF based adoptive uh, T cell uh, therapy. Uh, there are various uh, stages 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 9 and 10. So, uh, uh, in the first uh, staging uh, stage you can see the uh, SLA typing, then uh, tumor biopsy, uh, biomarker profiling, uh, leukapheresis, then uh, PBMC pre-activation using NTCD3 uh, and CD28 uh, antibodies. Uh, then there is a healthy donor, uh, TCR characterization and modification, uh, lentiviral vector encoding novel target uh, specific TCR and the generation of TCR transgenic T cells. And this T cell uh, and enrichment and expansion and then finally uh, treatment and uh, monitoring. Uh, if HLA is uh, a, 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 a uh, 0201 type, a tumor biopsy is uh, performed uh, to screen the tumor tissue uh, for the expression of the targeted antigen uh, followed by uh, leukapheresis. Uh, PBMCs from patient leukapheresis are isolated and pre-activated using anti-CD3 and CD28 antibodies as already uh, told. A target specific TC is isolated from the healthy donor characterized and modified and then a, a lentiviral vector is constructed and used to transfer the target specific TCA in the uh, T cells. The activated PBMCs are transduced with a lentiviral vector encoding the target specific TCA. The transduced T cells are expanded to large numbers in 3 to 5 days and are frozen. Upon completion of the release testing, uh, the T cells are ready to be infused. Uh, patients are typically treated with uh, lymphodepletion followed by T cell product infusion followed by low dose interleukin 2. Patients are monitored for as long as 15 years to observe for delayed adverse events following exposure to the investigational uh, gene therapy uh, products. There are some of the references uh, which were uh, utilized uh, for preparation of this uh, lecture. So, you can go through uh, the relevant uh, literature uh, for uh, getting more details about some of the concepts that has been presented uh, in this uh, lecture. Uh, thank you.